In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Welcome to Our Lady Loves You. My name is Father Zachary of the Mother of God, and we are presenting these episodes so that you can become the saint that you're created to be in God's love. The motivations for this perfect consecration, this is described in a wonderful work by St. Louis Marie de Montfort entitled True Devotion to Mary. True devotion, not just a sentimental devotion, sentiments are okay, but true devotion, solid in doctrine, solid in the truth, true devotion. In chapter two, part two of that beautiful inspired work, we find the motives for this consecration to Jesus through Mary. There's eight motives. See if any of these strike your heart. I pray that they all strike your heart. First motive. This consecration, this devotion, devotes us entirely to the service of God. That's the excellence, the excellence of this consecration. The motives for this perfect consecration to Jesus, of ourselves to Jesus Christ by the hands of Mary, that's what we're doing, consecrating ourselves to Jesus Christ perfectly by the hands of Mary. The first motive is that it devotes us entirely to the service of God, as our Blessed Mother is entirely devoted to the service of God. We learn that from her, how to be entirely devoted. You look at her life. Her total life was poured out for Christ. She never even thought about herself. That's what we talked about with blind obedience, one of her principal virtues. If you've spent too much time in your life already thinking about yourself, and you're tired of it. I know in my life I spent far too long thinking about myself. Now is the time to make your choice. And when you choose to give yourself entirely to God, you will be happy. I am the happiest man on the planet. My life is given to service for others. I learned this from Our Lady. I tell you, I learned this from Our Lady. I was the most arrogant, self-centered, thus and thus, <laughs> prior to my reversion back to the Catholic Church. I was baptized, but I went off and thought that I could conquer the world and then get it right with God at the end of my life. It's the way a lot of Catholics think, the way a lot of people think. They presume on God. They think they're going to live forever and then at the 11th hour cry out, and then everything will be all right. Well, not everyone who says, Lord, Lord, will be saved. Our Lord teaches us that. And if you have lived the life of selfishness, it, I tell you, it's very hard at the end to make the change. Make the change now. Let us humble ourselves. Come to Mary. Learn to serve God completely. On December 8, 1993 was my reversion. Knocked off my high horse. I cried out, God help me on the Feast of the Immaculate Conception, Our Lady interceded for me. I know what I know because I know what I know and I'll leave it at that. I know. I know the intercession of our Blessed Mother. That's why my name is Father Zachary of the Mother of God. I belong to her and she has taught me to be a giving person, someone who can serve and I know that was not from me. I know where my will led me but I know what our Blessed Mother has done for me. And no matter where you are right now, no matter what you've done, come to Our Lady. She will teach you as only a mother can. She wants only that Jesus Christ be formed in you. A mother loves to bring forth birth. That's her joy. And she wants her children to conduct themselves in a beautiful way, the most beautiful way, the life of Jesus. 
She will help you come to know Jesus. The first motive for this perfect consecration to Jesus Christ, true devotion to our Blessed Mother Mary, is that it devotes us entirely to the service of God. Second motive, it makes us imitate the example of Jesus Christ and the Holy Trinity and practice humility. You see, this devotion reflects the conduct of the incarnate wisdom, Jesus Christ, who willed to give himself to men, not directly, though he might have done so. We talked about that. He came to us through the Blessed Virgin Mary. God himself made himself dependent on a human person, the Blessed Virgin Mary. We should follow his humility. This is the will of God. You can read number 140 in True Devotion. I urge you all to read the entire work. But go to number 140 and see how the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit shows Our Lady. How the Trinity himself, who is all perfection, humbles himself. You know, all of our calls are in God's humility. Blessed Mother Teresa reminds priests that we are called by God's humility. God does not need us, but he wills to need us. You see, you understand? That's the, the theology, the truth behind true devotion. Because God wills to need us, he needs us. We're not saying that he needs us of his essence. He's perfection. He's God. He didn't need to create us. God has no interior or exterior compulsion. That's a, a truth. God is not OCD. God is free and he wants us to be free. The motive for perfect consecration to Jesus Christ, true devotion to our Blessed Mother, is it obtains for us the good offices of the Blessed Virgin Mary. If you truly know the good offices of the Blessed Virgin Mary, you would embrace this gift. Mary gives herself to us who choose to be her slave of love. Now some people will hear that word slave and say, oh my, what does that mean? It means we give ourselves totally to God through Mary. A slavery of love, a service of love. We no longer live for ourselves. In Christ we live and move and have our being and our Blessed Mother teaches us the freedom of this slavery. Ponder it. I know it's a, a word that this society does not understand well because of all the abuses of slavery due to the consequence of original sin and due to sin. But we're not talking about that type of slavery. We're talking about holy slavery. That we love God with our, all of our heart, soul, might, and mind and love our neighbor as ourself for the love of God. That's what this devotion helps us do. Mary, our blessed mother, purifies our good works, embellishes them, and makes them acceptable to her son. I use this example when I talk about our Blessed Mother, my relationship with Our Lady, the relationship I hope that you embrace. You know how it is when a child goes out in the yard, the field, and picks some dandelions and comes in and says, Mommy, Mommy, I picked I picked you some flowers, and I have some for daddy. Well, the mother does not say to her child, those are weeds. She doesn't break the spirit of the child. What does she do? She goes and she gets some other flowers to put around these dandelions and some of that baby's breath, some of that green stuff. You men know what I'm talking about. Women might say, oh, well, father, there's a name for that, but anyway. Our Lady puts it together and then goes and presents it to God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit and says, look at what your child presents to you. That's what Our Lady does. We give her 
our little dandelions. And she presents them to God, magnified. She magnifies everything we do in a beautiful way, as only a mother can do. Are you longing to have a mother, a true mother, who's devoted to you? Our Lady will be more devoted to you than you will be to her in true devotion. That's just the way she is. She will teach you how to be truly devoted. Praise God. Our Lady is here to help us. Please God. I entrust you all to Our Lady. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.